Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a gold mine. I'm going to take two fingers on the left and I'm going to put a dot. Two fingers on the right and put another dot. Starting back on the left, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line over to the second dot and stop. I'm going to come back to the left and draw a little slightly curved line down. Bring this other line over to the second dot. Now connect the two. I come back in and I draw one, two little baby circles and then I draw one, two little baby circles on the right. I come inside the space and I just draw some lines. I come back on the left and I draw a slightly curved line down, leave it open on the left, slightly curved line down, leave it open on the right. I come on the right hand side, I do the same thing, slightly curved line down, leave it open. And let's draw that line again, leave it open. On this space, I also draw my little kind of straight lines all the way down. Okay. Now, on the right hand side, right about midpoint, I'm going to draw a wavy line down and out. I come back up and I'm going to draw another wavy line. I'm going to mimic it all the way down. I come back over to the left and now I'm going to draw those bottom lines. I draw a slightly wavy line on the left connect and I draw, jump over, draw a slightly wavy line on the right. Now I can finish that line right there. Now I come back inside and I'm going to draw these lines again. Skinny mini all the way down and connect on the top. Skinny mini come down, connect again on the bottom. Now I can draw one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. You're going to curve it where you need to. Little straight lines, slightly curved, a little bit, all the way down to the bottom. This is your track. Now I come on the outside, starting on the left, and I'm just going to do wavy lines, kind of overlap up. Keep going and bring one down. Now we're going to do an overlap, wavy line up, bring it down, wavy line up, bring it down. There is no right or wrong way of drawing these. Wavy line, maybe bring one in and bring it down. Now you can connect these bottom lines, bring them out a little bit, connect everything over here. Now I'm going to add some little rocks. So I do curve line, curve line, curve line. And I think we're ready to color. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is a gold mine. The main thing I want to show is this mine shaft. So I'm going to color this section black. Don't forget the little part over here. You're going to color inside the spaces of your rail line here to give the illusion of it being inside a mine. If you've got gray, you can do this section gray. This is supposed to be steel or metal. They didn't have a lot of it, but they did use it. And then for your inside part of the line, you can put little brown wooden stakes like that. I'm using a different brown for the outside wood that's holding up my entry. So I use a different color brown if you have one. 
I'm going to come in and do my cutaway mountain first with a lighter tan all the way down and then I'm going to use another brown a little bit darker and go over it again just to bring out the color that it is a mountainside all the way around and down okay I'm going to use another brown for my boulders or my rocks over here and then to add a pinch of color I'm going to color in my background sky blue and you can add more things to your drawing if you want to this is just your basics and then I'm going to add a green for the bottom part of my surface and don't forget you can add a little bit of green on the inside of your tracks okay let's see what this looks like all colored in here's my gold mine all colored in looks like the gold miner is inside looking for gold okay bye bye